Well, it wasn't long, I guess, after uh, when the people started leaving England and Ireland to come to the New World. Some of them inevitably had to arrive in Newfoundland and Labrador. I imagine some of the people who came to this province brought the button accordion with them. And that's how it arrived here. Well, the accordion is a social instrument, and it's always been used, you know, if you're just sitting around uh, at a kitchen party or something like that. It tends to be played in a family or passed down from one generation to another. Of course, years ago, in the days before amplification, the accordion was the more preferred instrument for the dances, I think, because of the, the sheer volume of it, and you could hear the music better. I see a relationship between, we'll say, the dancers on the dance floor who have just finished, uh, you know, doing, doing one of these uh, old-fashioned square dances, and they're all out of breath, huffing and puffing, and, you know, the, the accordion has been playing, and it's probably out of breath, too, from, uh, you know, from all the huffing and puffing. So, in a sense, the accordion is alive. You know, it breathes just like you and I do. There's something about the sound and, and the accessibility of it. In Newfoundland and Labrador, it's just another day around here. 